This video is sponsored by the internet. Without it, how could you watch my video? Hey everybody, this is Robert. Now, I have a specific group of people who watch my videos because I voice a certain character. If you're not sure who I'm talking about, chances are you'll see in the comment section below. Are you the voice actor Xander in TMF? Xander, is that you? Hi, Spider Grape, a.k.a. Xander. I can't unhear Xander. Hi, Xander. Xander! It's Xander from Xander's the music voice actor from the music oh, oh, Hi, Xander. God. Yes, I do voice Xander. You know, it's pretty nice playing a character that a lot of people like. When I auditioned for Xander, I had no idea this project would be big. I didn't even know what Gotcha Life was. But I auditioned for it like any other project and just forgot about it. Fun fact, you know I almost didn't audition for Xander? NANI? I actually auditioned for Jake first, and since I had so many auditions to get done that day, I had the stupidest mindset that my audition for Jake was so good, I didn't need to audition for anything else and I would save myself some time. Well, that's just asinine. Well, obviously, I realized how backwards that way of thinking was, so I decided to audition for Xander soon after. All I did was make my voice sound higher than normal since he was in high school and acted defensive. Well, what do you know? I ended up getting the part. Life lesson right there. Actually, let me hear how my Jake audition sounded. This may sound weird. I've never told anyone this, but... The truth is, I want to be a singer. I mean, it's been my dream since I was a kid, but I know my friends wouldn't understand. They just tease me if I told them. But in the music club, with you guys, I feel like I can be myself. It was utterly rubbish. <laughs> can you imagine a different universe where I play Jake instead of Xander? I've never told anyone this, but... The truth is, I want to be a singer. I mean, it's been my dream since I was a kid, but I know my friends wouldn't understand. Shut up! Oh, yes, yeah, very well. And now, the rest is history. Xander so far is the only character I have played that has gained some kind of following through my voiceover journey. I've seen a lot of fan art online, and the Music Freaks in general is, from what I hear, the best Gotcha Life series online. So I thought it would be fun to give a quick behind the scenes look of what I do in order to record for the music freaks and maybe you guys will learn a few things about voice acting you didn't know about. And just before we get into that, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe because that would mean the world to me. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'll be on my computer doing whatever needs to be done until I get a message from Rosie on Discord saying, Robert, your services are required. The music freaks need you. Have these lines done at a certain hour and you will make your country proud. Do I make myself clear? Then I would say, Yes, ma'am! Very well. To make sure no fans get a hold of the script, this laptop will self-destruct in two seconds. So before I read the script, I like to warm up my voice with tongue twisters, breathing, facial, or even singing exercises. If you look ridiculous, who cares? You're by yourself in the booth warming up your face and vocal cords and you want to make sure you're at your best and that you're all set for recordings. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, toy boat, 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 air as you can and let it out slowly like this Jake is the enemy and I will make his life miserable as Xander hmm 
And when it is time to record, be willing to look stupid in order to help bring out that confidence. Sometimes I make the stupidest looks when trying to bring out the right emotion. I like to move my hands a lot too in order to help bring out the performance. It really does help. No way! He is not joining our group, let alone singing for us in the competition! Haley, don't tell me you're considering this! So anyways, Rosie gives me the script, it tells me how many lines each of the characters get, and I read and go, Bullshit, line, line, bullshit, bullshit, line, uh, line, sweet, uh, bullshit, line, bullshit. No, I'm kidding, I read through the whole script once, and sometimes twice, so I can really understand what is happening in the story. Afterwards, I find the scenes that I'm a part of and again see what happens in the scenes before so I'll know what leads up to the situation I'm in. This helps me understand what the character is feeling and why he's feeling this way. Also, reading the whole script helps me know the relationships each of the characters have with one another which also affects my reads. Basically, the more information I know, the better. Kind of like a detective. When I do record, I like to stand like this far away, like see what I'm doing with my hand here? It's like a surfer dude, like kind of like hand pose. So this far away from the mic if it's like conversational mic talk. If I'm about to yell, I stand like, like two of these guys like far away from the microphone. So I don't like distort the audio or whatever. When performing, I try to draw from experiences from what's happened to me in life in order to bring out that emotion. If I have to play Xander being happy in a scene, which feels like it never happens, <laughs> then I try to remember a time in my life where I felt very happy. So I just think about my girlfriend and it becomes easy. If I need to feel sad, then I remember moments that happened in my life that made me feel unhappy. To return back to that state of mind can be very difficult sometimes, but it's an important tactic to bring out the emotion. It could bring you down sometimes depending on what you're trying to remember, so I sometimes like to treat myself for some ice cream afterwards. <laughs> In the end, voice acting has more. Wow, this stuff is actually good. Mm. In the end, voice acting has more to do with the acting side than the voice, which is why a lot of you guys say that I sound like Xander half the time. It's mainly my own voice, but just a smidge higher. Nothing crazy. Here's a fun fact. You know when I record, I don't record with the other voice actors? I've never even chatted with them once, yet our characters know each other so well. I assume we live in different time zones, so maybe that's why we can't record together, or maybe it's just easier this way. Since everything is done separately, I really have to imagine in my head being in the situation in order to sound like I'm actually talking to them naturally. I record quite a few takes for each line and then give the best of those lines to Rosie and have her pick out her favorites. She may even reach out and tell me to re-record a couple of lines because I might have interpreted the scene differently than what she had in mind. It happens all the time for projects. Once everything is done, I return back to doing whatever it was I was doing. Mm. My girlfriend's gonna kill me. I just ate the whole thing. <laughs> Usually I know when it's done, when I start getting random Xander comments on videos I did a couple of months ago. That's like my notification when a new Music Freaks episode is out. But yeah, that's just a quick rundown on how I get these recordings done for the Music Freaks. There is definitely more to voice acting than that, but that's more or less what I do in the booth, simplified. I know I wanted to have some kind of video that was Xander related since a lot of you guys really do love this character and this series in general. I just figured you would like this. Thank you so much, Rosie, for having me be a part of your project. Obviously, The Music Freaks was a big hit and I'm very fortunate to be at all a part of it. I wish you more success in your future projects. At this time, I finished recording episode 10, but you guys... You haven't seen episode 9 yet, right? That hasn't come out? I will say no such thing about what will happen in those episodes because Rosie will have my head mounted on her wall if I did. 
but I will say that shit is about to go down! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and watch more of my videos in the future, even if they're not gotcha related videos. Maybe I'll do a reaction video to the new episodes or something in the future, I don't know. I'm curious though, what was your favorite Xander moment so far in this series? For me, it's when Xander tells his feelings to Luke in episode 5. That one, I had to find that place of vulnerability in order to help bring out the emotions that Xander had building up inside him for so long, which was not easy. Really good episode. Now before I go, I figured I'd sign off like this. So thanks for watching, you're amazing, and I'll see you next time.